Joining us now in studio, CBS4 legal analyst Karen Steinhauser. Karen, good to see you. We're going to see a lot of you now in the months sure. ahead, so you'll have to get used to waking up in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the question here, I guess, is in getting a jury like this, do you really need a pool that big? I mean, that, that's an enormous number of people. Well, you have to start with the assumption that even though 9,000 people have been summoned, um, you're going to have a lot of people who may not appear. You have people who maybe have changed addresses. So it's going to be a little bit smaller. But still, we're talking about trying to find jurors who can sit for months and months and months and decide this case. We're talking about jurors who may have some connection to the, the shooting. We're talking about people who may have personal issues about the death penalty that may disqualify them from serving. You know, and we're talking about people who may have already formed opinions because of the pretrial publicity about the guilt of the defendant, about whether or not he was insane. And so we have to deal with, with those individuals. So there's so many issues for the attorneys and the judge to sort through that I think they felt like they needed to start with this big a pool mm -hmm. in order to get to the number of jurors that they need. So cast a wide net, narrow it down. Absolutely. You touched upon this a bit. One of the criteria for the jurors is that they have to be willing to impose the death penalty. Why might lawyers want that and what else are they trying to feel out from this jury pool? Well, with regard to the death penalty, in Colorado we have this system called basically death qualifying a jury. And what the lawyers have to do is look at are there people who regardless of the type of case who the defendant is whatever else the situation may be that under no circumstances could they impose the death penalty basically what we're talking about are, are people who regardless of what the law says and tells them to weigh they're going to say I can't find the death penalty for anyone and the prosecution can excuse those individuals it, it seems unlikely in the long run that uh, James Holmes won't be in some kind of facility at the very least here because there's little question that he was there at the shooting. Even the defense isn't really saying that he didn't do it. Correct. This is this has never been really a case of identification of of who did it. And I also don't think that there's going to be any question about the fact that the defendant is severely mentally ill. The issue for the jurors is going to be does that mental illness, did that mental illness rise to the level of legal insanity? At the time of the crime. At the time, of, now, the the time of the crime. And That's the prosecution too, right? has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that it didn't, that he was sane at the time of the crimes. Karen, thank you for waking up early with us this morning, giving us some insight. Karen Steinhauser, our legal analyst, thanks for joining us. Let's get